What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, someone sent me in the DMs, I want to say yesterday, saying I need to check out MJF's promo on John Moxley. And it's one of his best promos he's ever, like, dropped on AEW. And I'm like, okay, even better than one of the promos he had uh, against Cody. All right, let me check it out. And that's what we're here to do. I haven't really been keeping up too much with AEW for the most part, but when it comes to MJF and his promo work from what I've known and what I've seen so far, the dude is on point. He knows how to control the crowd. He knows how to convey his points in such a, like, I, I don't even know the words to describe it. It's just, it's fluid. It's effortlessly. Like, he literally is portraying the character to the T of MJF and it's fantastic bro so I'm, I'm gonna check it out man I guess he's going up to John Moxley we're gonna see what he has to say man appreciate all the love and support road to 20k let's get right into it please AEW don't take this video down you can demonetize it if you really really want to please don't take the video down man thank you thank you I would like to thank Mr. Tony Khan for giving me the opportunity to speak to you, Mark's people. <laughs> I meant people. Okay, that's all right. It's already looking like a good promo. He hit them. <laughs> I want to thank Tony Khan for letting me speak to you, Mark's. I mean, I mean, <laughs> bro, this is so great. Oh, and, and I like I like they're they're keeping up with the uh I can't even speak to I like that they're keeping up with the tradition of keeping their record. Uh, he's eight zero. He's undefeated, um, and it shows who he last defeated. I mean, if a person's eight zero, depending on who they've been facing, uh, and he did beat Cody at one point. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. He may be up for an AEW World. Uh, Heavyweight Championship or the AEW Main Championship. <laughs> now, let's be honest with ourselves. We all know wrestling fans aren't all that bright. <laughs> but fortunately Sometimes for you, <laughs> I've been given an exorbitant amount of time here tonight. Very to good on the mic so far. With knowledge like a five-year-old being fed mac and cheese. Oh, okay, honey, I'll read off the sheet. Can you just do the world a favor? Give me a little smile, huh? Huh? You look so much prettier when you do that, honey. Thank you so much. <laughs> Is this okay. supposed to be like a presidential like, like speech? Oh my God, this is great. Okay, this is time. so good. Speech time. This is Please. so good. I love you too. Before I start this speech, I would like to implore you, our AEW fans, who we are <laughs> so grateful for. Please use the following hashtags: hashtag MJF2020 wow. and hashtag Not My Champion. You'll find out why in a moment's time, so please bear with me. Not my Thank champion, you. like not my president. Oh wow, right this is now, this is he's good. I'm sure you people are shocked to see me here on Dynamite two weeks in a row. Yeah, not on the sidelines, you know, with with the bench warmers. You're doing great, by the way, guys. Proud of you. Oh my Proud God, he's so good. Now bro. I'm sure you're asking yourself, huh, <clears throat> MJF? That's a really good point. Why does that always happen to you? I'll tell you. The reason I'm never spotlighted two weeks in a row is because a certain individual is afraid of being upstaged two weeks in a row. Mm. And that is why it is time for a change in leadership around here. Change. He's it's a powerful us. word I just used. I remember when this company first started, I saw men calling for change. One man in particular called for a paradigm shift. He is getting in his bag. He is getting in his promo bag. When he was feuding against Cody, he was digging in. They were both going at each other on the mic. This is, this is, this is, this is nice, bro. I'm, I'm liking this a minute, two minutes in, bro. This is, this is how, I'm a, I'm going to save my thoughts for later on. Let's continue He this. said he wanted out with the old and in with the new. Well, I don't know about you people, but a guy on top of the card who gets to do whatever he wants, say whatever he wants, and wrestle whoever he wants, simply because he came from the place of Titans, Whoa. isn't new. That's old hat, brother. 
Oh. Oh my God, yo. Yo, that is. Whew. Imagine if there was more people in the crowd, like it was packed. Oh my God. Man, he is dropping some bombs, bro. That is. I like this, bro. I like this. quickly like went this. from being a revolution and has unfortunately turned into a dictatorship. And that is why John Moxley is not my champion. This is good. Now, hold on, people. I cannot tell a lie. Absolutely. I will not stand here and pretend that John Moxley isn't one of the greatest wrestlers our great sport has ever seen. However, I, like I feel it's high time that we as a society have an honest discussion about all the negative side effects that have occurred ever since the Moxley reign has started. Wrestling. Okay. It's on the marquee and yet people, where is it? All I see is a bunch of great wrestlers having to come out here and perform gymnastics, flip flop and fly and or almost die in an attempt to make you, the viewers at home, think they're good at their job. Wow. That's just wrong. But I don't blame you, AEW fans. You see, you have been brainwashed into thinking that that is this... what good professional wrestling is. And that brainwashing starts all the way at the tippy top. This and is that good. is why. Jonathan, <laughs> a world champion is supposed to lead by example. He is not supposed to let his roster mates come out here and play wrestle, and he's damn wow. sure not supposed to come out here and cosplay as a specific wrestler, and that's a stone cold fact. I don't even need to hear the rest of the promo. Wow. Oh, oh man. And you know what's funny here, bro? And I, I want people to understand this. He gets a lot of Stone Cold Steve Austin comparisons, especially in AEW, because they kind of have a similar, like, like similar style mannerism. Stone Cold did whatever he wanted. It, it didn't. He didn't care. He did whatever he wanted, whenever he wanted to, and he didn't care about the rules. Like it was just whatever. I just want to win and have the championship. This is. Wow, MJF, bro, my guy, he may be a heel, but he is a fantastic heel, a fantastic heel. Now, I don't have to play wrestler because I am one. I'm undefeated. I am the mm -hmm. first and last MJF. You know what I'm not, though, ladies and gentlemen? I'm not a media analyst, and yet everybody wants to pretend to be because everybody wants to talk about ratings. Okay. And that's why we treat Dictator John so well, right? Because of his name value, right? Because where on earth would the numbers lie without Dictator John, right? Wrong. You know who on average happens to draw better numbers minute for minute than your Dictator John? Yours truly. Hmm. Oh, oh, you didn't know that, did you? That's because Dictator John doesn't want you to. See, according to Dictator John, I'm not on his level. Why should he have to deal with the likes of me? And to that I say, how dare you? AEW is meant to be the land of opportunity, and you've squandered that. And that is why it's time for a new guard around here. Because the old I'm guard's been this. running the show on this planet for centuries, and look where it's gotten us, people. War. Famine, disease, our earth is dying and so are our morals, and yet here we are with John Moxley running the old guard, and our infrastructure is falling and falling fast. This is well, good. I'm here to tell you people that I can catch this company, throw it on my back, and sprint this brand up the steep terrain to the very top, because my talent outweighs your tenure, John. Ooh. I am AEW. I bleed black, white, and gold. I'm the guy who's going to be leading this company Ooh. for the next 25 years. He is good. He is good. Do the math and grab a calculator. So good. And that is why I'm making a promise to you that I will not stop until we go from happily glad-handing each other for being the alternative and transform this brand into the pinnacle of professional wrestling. This is... Wow. Very poignant remarks from uh, John Moxley 
I am challenging you for your world title and announcing my candidacy as the AEW World Champion. I'll see you at All Out, John. We deserve better. Hey, sign me up. I I, I definitely may be taking out uh, All Out. <laughs> I'm be honest with you. I, I, it looks like I'm I may be checking out all, all out, bro. This is this is fantastic promo. J MJF knows what he's doing on the mic. He knows how to build up a match. He knows how to set up a match. I'm be honest with you, man. As much as I like John Moxley, I think you gotta put it on MJF, bro. He's undefeated record-wise. He is very talented on the mic. He's a fantastic kill. And I don't think you can go wrong with that. I think you can build some new stars with MJF feuding with, you know, some newer talent that haven't had a chance at the championship. Like, you can have him hold the belt for a while because he's a heel. So he's going to do heel things to keep the belt. I think this is the best way to go right now is to put the strap on him bro he is on fire and I, I think people would definitely love to hear hear him as a champion like how he speaks how he presents himself i'm all for it john moxley he's had it for a while now he can get the championship at any other time you know what i'm saying he can end up going for another championship he can have a, a mid card feud he doesn't have to be the number one guy. You know, you knew when he came into AEW at some point he was going to get the championship, but he doesn't have to have it right away. You know what I'm saying? And I, I can respect that, bro. Like, I can respect them giving him the title, but it's at some point, you know what I'm saying? Someone else new, someone else fresh needs to have it. I, just like I respect Cody putting himself in a situation where he'll never be able to go for the championship because he lost i want to say i, I want to say it was against jericho i think it was against jericho i want to say it was against jericho correct me if i'm wrong he did lose against chris jericho and one of the stipulations was uh if he loses this match he'll never go for the championship ever again and i think that's you know and and that's that's dope because of course, people would love to see Cody as the champion, but he wants to bring up new talent, new stars, bro. And I'm and I'm all for it, bro. I am all for this. Uh, I hope MJF is able to, you know, I, you know, if they book it right, which I'm, they've been booking for the most part. They're they're pretty pretty logical with the booking. I think MJF is gonna win the championship and have him a nice little run and potentially be able to, you know build up some new baby faces or you know saying get some more baby faces like in that the main event scene because he's a great heel so you gotta have a good baby face to offset that but fantastic promo i don't know what else to say this actually has me looking forward to their match comment down below who do y'all think should win mjf or do you think john moxley should still retain the championship let me know i would love your guys opinion appreciate all the love and support Roll to 20k. Appreciate y'all. Kick it with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.